Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter Igaga, and I want to welcome you to your favorite show, and that is Men. Now, today is a show with a bit of a twist because we are going to talk about something that all of you have been touched by. It's jealousy. Everybody has that in them, the green-eyed monster. How you deal with it is entirely up to you. Now, this show is brought to you by Oblamu. Not that it has anything to do with jealousy, but it's caring about your health, and your health is your wealth. Now, we're here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel, and this is your show. Go to our Facebook page. It's NTV Men Like It. Engage in the discussions that are going on there. You can also follow us on Twitter. The hashtag that's trending right now is hashtag NTV Men. Chris. Good to have you here. Thanks. You're seated next to the beautiful lady. Oh, yeah. And you're hiding. You know, you look like I'm you're I'm also edgy. seated next yeah. to the beautiful yeah, lady. We're coming yeah. to you. And the topic, <laughs> the topic being jealous. <laughs> Already has I know. Let's hear you. No, we have to keep on talking. I don't want the jealous man <laughs> to come and think <laughs> that I have must, any ideas. In the meantime, he'll be, be on the TV with a tick member. Like you said, one meter away. No distance. No, we have to make sure equal distance. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So I'll start with you. You, Chris. Yes, yes. This thing called jealousy, um, it's something that both men and women experience. Is it natural, in your opinion? I, I think it's such a big deal to the point that even God gets jealous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beat that. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right yeah, there, so yeah, it yeah. starts from the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's a real thing and it's you know especially when it comes to love because lo love love needs to be a, 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 you know I think back in the day when when uh, they used to talk about HIV AIDS and and options abstinence and all that there was one option which they now call be faithful to your partner to one partner they used to call it zero grazing yeah, yeah. And, and that was the idea of a cow on a peg and it's just going round this peg. Mm -hmm. So I in a way, um, most couples in a relationship want to zero graze and they are checking who yeah. else is on my peg because you can't share a <laughs> peg, my friend. You know, yeah. so it's, 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 it's that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, where there is love, there is jealousy, yeah. especially when someone else is getting into that relationship, mm -hmm. whether it's a God-man relationship or it's a man to woman relationship or you know that there is zero grazing and yeah. once once that equation is broken into there's jealousy obviously oh, okay great stuff some people take it as far as friendship okay <laughs> gloria Ooh. now um before we get to that part of friendship i'd like to hear from you can jealousy be described as care from a lady's perspective would, uh, would you want a man who is jealous over you it mm -hmm. depends to what extreme mm -hmm. as long as jail as long as the intentions mm -hmm. are clean then okay and the actions after the intentions some people are jealous here and it's not even it's not necessary <laughs> it really is it's not the intentions are not good intentions for example i'll be je i have a friend i'm jealous Let's take it to a relationship much better to make people understand. I'll be jealous mm -hmm. that you're with other people mm -hmm. because for good reasons, for good intentions. Mm -hmm. But then there are wrong intentions. Like, What are these wrong intentions? In my, in my opinion, jealousy uh, when also defies according to, to me according to age. When I was younger, I would be jealous, not because the person is really even putting me in a situation to be jealous. Mm -hmm. I'm just being selfish. Is, is the word mm. you're looking for insecure? Mm. Insecure. insecure. Okay. But then at the end of the day, when you grow up, you realize it's not, uh, it's it's not, not out of, no, and it's not out of care. You pose the question, mm -hmm. do I think it's out of care? Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a lack of anything to do. Hey. You're just being there idle. Someone is not around. There's somewhere else. You're jealous. There's somewhere else. Basically, being, of being idle. idle. You're idle. 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 Right now. But right um, now, okay. I think uh, I would dedicate my time to doing something more for myself 
than concentrate on being jealous over right. something. So are you then saying that if it's only idle men who get jealous? Again, it comes to the extreme of the actions you do mm -hmm. when you're jealous. Just, mm -hmm. to, just on that point, I think idle men have the time. Even women. It's just idle men and women have the time, have the extra time to, to ponder yeah. about that yeah. issue yeah. and come two. up with d uh, measures mm -hmm. on how to mitigate or uh, prevent or do away with. Or they start the, imagining the what someone party. is not yeah. even doing. Okay. So uh, well, let's talk about this thing of, mm. of, of being idle. So if somebody, some people have actually said that you actually protect, and yes. Chris has actually mm. alluded to that, you protect the things. What's yours. Yes, yes. what's, what's yes. yours. Yes. Okay. And when you've got a good thing, whether mm. you like it or mm. not, there's an Ethiopian saying that says, a man with a beautiful woman is like a man who grows his maize. I mean, there are going to be guys who mm. want to pick a combo mm. too. I mean, mm. that's the way it is. So by you protecting what is yours, mm. in fact, I, I think if, especially from the guy's side, if nobody's interested in your woman, then yeah. <laughs> there's also a saying, there's also a saying, if you're a lady and you pass a group of men and no one turns, just keep walking to the shrine. <laughs> There's okay, that saying. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> <it's crazy. laughs> but, uh, <laughs> just make that up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um, some you see, people. If, if somebody is, it, is it's, of course there are extremes, or, um, and um, it's some, one of the things which we're going to talk about. Um, somebody doesn't wake up in the morning and, and kill and stab somebody because yeah. they saw somebody talking to somebody. Yeah. It builds. It builds, and that's why it's called the green-eyed monster. It's, it's, it's a monster, it grows. And most monsters develop right underneath your bed. Mm. Now, is, as men, and I'll take it from the male perspective, mm. men and, and the male species are generally territorial. Mm. And you also know, men know other men who have intentions. A guy will know if yeah. another guy who's up to, and the lady will say, oh, he's just a friend. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one we like. Exactly. Because <laughs> we know. Mm. So is there anything wrong with a man doing that in your perspective? I, to be jealous, being jealous isn't bad. So it's, when you look at the positive side, it's always good. I've been reading, uh, Chris encouraged just to read a lot. So I've been reading about uh, looking at the gift, well looking at the gift and not looking at the loss. Yeah. So when you look at the gift side of it, uh, being jealous helps you to protect, helps you to, uh, to keep, uh, keep, keep grease around that joint, that family, family, the marriage, the relationship. You keep always trying to improve, always trying to do better so that um, you maybe you can impress, you can do better, you can love the, your, your partner better mm -hmm. if there's that uh, jealous bit that is positive, that gives you positive criticism. But then there's this other side, what you're talking about, where there's self-criticism, where you criticize, your, where you develop that demon. Mm -hmm. And you know when jealousy arrives, when jealousy arrives, there's that demon that, not demon, but that, <laughs> that, that, so you, that there's that, uh, you get that emotion mm -hmm. and it has, it, uh, it has two ways it can go. It can go positive. It, you can use it to do something good, to mm. be something better. But also, you can use it to uh, think different things, to project. Be like, ah, this person. Now I saw them talking. Now they must be sexting. They must be doing this. They must be doing this. So when it goes to that extent, that means there's a problem with you. The problem isn't with the person who is talking to a stranger, who is talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. The problem is with your uh, with your lady who is dressing up so beautifully and so on. That's, that's the problem is not with them. It's with you. Because of your maybe past experiences, uh, mistrust, especially when there's mistrust, that can brood, it can breed a lot, a lot of uh, negativity when, where jealousy is. is okay. You've you picked up on something about yeah. mistrust. Yeah. Chris, yeah. is jealousy bred and bred from mistrust? Because in a, in a case when you're married, if your wife starts acting shady, okay, it doesn't matter what her intentions are, aren't you bound to start feeling that um, the, the, the pieces don't add up. There's a very good friend of mine who says that when one plus one is equal to three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. It's becoming synergistic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think we need a PhD to, to figure that out, really. I, I think that a P3 kid mm -hmm. can tell that as soon as 
and they may not be able to label it as mistrust. Yeah. But as soon as it's not adding up mm -hmm. uh, with their friend, for example, mm -hmm. they, they, they start feeling like, you know, if you have kids, there's a certain age, you know, grade two, grade three, grade four, uh, they're like, so-and-so said they're no longer my friend, and it's such a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then they come back another week, say, oh, now they said they're my friend. And now the, the next week, they're no longer my friend. Mm -hmm. And so they start wondering, is this person my friend or, my, or not my friend? And, and yeah. then there is a mistrust. So you realize that that relationship slowly, if not nurtured well, slowly, uh, you know, it's goes into reason. oblivion yeah. because there is growing mistrust. Mm -hmm. Does this person like me for a friend or not? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I think that uh, the, the jealousy pie is made of a number of ingredients. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I were to use that analogy, you've got mistrust in there, you've got insecurity in mm -hmm. there, you've got infidelity mm -hmm. in there, because sometimes the facts are real, mm -hmm. right? Uh, sometimes they're imagined. Sometimes the problem is the person who's jealous. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's about the measure of, of, of how you express how jealous you are. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, in your anger, do not sin. And it, it's basically not saying, don't be angry. But don't go overboard with your anger. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But there's people who are, are jealous. And I think in, in, I'm a Muganda, and in Buganda, we call it a buba. <laughs> when they saw Musadja in a buba, it's a thing of the guy is over the, he's overboard with his jealousy. He's like, Aah! he almost oh wants to have his God. guts out. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and you know, it's, it's like, hey, I mean, you know, keep yourself in check. Uh, yeah. We understand that you're not happy with what's going on, yeah, but, but calm, you down, eh? calm down and, yeah. and look at the facts and act objectively. Mm -hmm. You're justified, but not this much yeah. type of thing. So, so I, I think that the, the, the jealousy pie has many ingredients yeah. and there's many reasons why and I think we, we sort of need to look in the mirror mm -hmm. and, and, and look at ourselves. There's uh, the book Jim Collins wrote, Good to Great, and what one of the things we were saying about great um, leaders is that they look through the window when good stuff happens. When good stuff happens, say in a relationship, you, you look at your spouse and say, you're doing so great. This relationship is, is doing well because of you. Yeah. But when stuff goes wrong, they look in the mirror mm -hmm. and, and look for what, what have I wrong. done to contribute yeah. to this situation? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes uh, you're jealous. Yes, you feel justified, you're mad and all that. But when you look in the mirror, it's most probably because you are the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's stuff yeah. you've done that's caused this scenario to yeah. happen. So you just check yourself. Have you guys heard of a, a saying that, oh, I'm jealous. Like when, you t when a friend, you tell me about this guy, like, oh, I'm jealous, but in a good way. Have you heard these statements before? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard it loosely, oh, loosely I got put, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, that kind of jealousy that I'll even be willing to confess mm -hmm. is good jealousy. You know that I appreciate that you got something. I'm happy for you. And that kind of jealousy is, I'm happy that you have. For example, Peter, if you have a very good shoe, no, and I'm your actually, friend. Yeah. Yes, you do. Okay. And, no, 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 <laughs> and I'm your friend. <laughs> and, and I'm your friend. And I wish it for myself. Mm -hmm. like, you fit your size 12. And I, I mean, okay. That's, that's uh, the, uh, some people tend to think uh, you like to copy them, you're always jealous of what they have, so you want to have it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not the case. It's the fact that I approve that you have good taste and I would love to be to copy from your taste. It has nothing to do with me being, being envious. More, more of being uh, uh, envious than being jealous, because I feel being mm -hmm. jealous uh, involves a third protecting party. What, it's what, a third protect. You, say you have something and there's more of a threat. Yes. But that's More true. Is that th some people are uh, what I feel yeah. is uh, being envious that uh, envious I mean, not, not in a bad way that mm. uh, he can afford a good shoe and uh, he, yeah. He, yeah. That, but but that's uh, to me, I, that's what I, I feel. I, I think yeah, I think it's envy. And, mm. and and can I just slot in mm. one for the road for you, Gloria? Mm. If 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 you have a friend who says, oh, Gloria, you've got such a good man, <laughs> and I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, I can tell you, mm. protect. Be very oh careful. <laughs> Be very <laughs> careful. That's not a job. Now, we have to go into a break, and when we get back, we'll be talking a little bit more about jealousy. This show is brought to you by Obulamu. We're here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel. Don't forget, this is your show. 
go to our Twitter handle. It's hashtag NTVMen. Talk to us. Or you can get us on Facebook, also at NTVMen. We'll be right back after the break because you've heard our teacups. Yeah, it's tea time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined us, we're here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel talking about jealousy. According to Gloria, it can be healthy. But Chris has warned her that if her man is being looked at by her friends and they're saying, yeah, they're jealous, be very, very aware. Now, my question is, when does jealousy become obsession? But in fact, before we, we even define that, how does it get there? Because you've been talking about healthy jealousy. So when does it become now unhealthy? Uh, from what he said, I picked something. Discover yourself first. Mm -hmm. If I've discovered the person I am, my purpose, mm -hmm. I wouldn't go around looking into irrelevant issues. For example, jealousy. I'm Is that a sign of overconfidence? It could be. <laughs> yes. No. And, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you why, where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. um, Issues happen in relationships, mm -hmm. that's, that's a fact. But you see, there's nobody, whenever anybody gets into a relationship, it's always roses, okay? Mm -hmm. I believe a relationship is made out of guns and roses, okay? But we always start with the roses part. It's always nice, people are on their best behavior, they put their best foot forward. Then is when these things start creeping in. You've talked about insecurities. Some of these insecurities are actually genuine mm. and are created by the actions that we take because again and I'll speak from a, a, a guy's perspective because I can only speak from a guy's side mm. um, when you have of course when you, you've reached that point where this is this is your woman you don't want anybody else in that space but if you've got a good woman there will be those guys who even if she's got a ring on her finger will will still try to creep around. And you have to protect your turf. Because I think if you don't protect your turf, it means you don't care. But uh, when you say you have to protect, yes. know the partner you're with. Just know the, pa the kind of person you're with. Hey, hey, hey. I think this, this is what I think. This is what I think. Knowing myself, I don't think if I was in one, I would be in, in any other. So if my partner doesn't know that, Gloria could easily talk to someone else, but she will not. Nothing else will. Because the people who will tell you, Banangi, watch out for your wife. She's always talking to you. And the man will be like, no, I know my wife. Do you, do you, do you, do you subscribe to That's that? That's the trust. The, the, <laughs> why do you, uh, my question is, why do people end up with someone? Yeah? They don't trust. Thank you. Well, you see. <coughs> Peter, uh, what was your why? question? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay. You see. Um, <coughs> My question was in terms of when does it become unhealthy? I mean, let me let me take a shot at it. Yeah. Let me take a shot. I'm going to move from her and try to get stuff from her. You see, when you marry someone, they say I get married today. Of course, you 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 kind of trust them. You really trust them. You put a lot of trust in them. Mm -hmm. But you see, let me give you an example. If I had a personal uh, a, a, a relationship, and then uh, in my past relationship, <coughs> the every lady I got. Uh, cheated on me or lied to me and then uh, maybe maybe I just uh, this 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 something like suspicion comes to me just a suspicion she call, she tells you that no 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 I'm at work and then you come to work and she's not there maybe she's working from elsewhere at that time she maybe she, they have today they have got the office out of uh, out of the building and then you start saying ah now she told me <laughs> that she was at work then you, you see, the you see no, no 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 listen <laughs> It's not about not knowing the person you're with. You see, sometimes, that's why I've been telling you, sometimes the problem is with you. There's certain things in you, certain uh, criticisms you have about yourself, about certain perceptions you have, about certain perceptions that, that start uh, brewing, that start uh, growing uh, other, 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 other evils, other, other negative, other, ne other thoughts yeah. that, uh, you, you, you tend to feed on that. And when you start feeding on that, that's when it starts becoming negative. Mm -hmm. when you start, when, the moment you, you, you allow those things to grow, to, to, to take hold of your jealousy mm -hmm. and, 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 and push you to an extent, let me tell you, jealousy does two things. Mm -hmm. It hurt, when you, when you go to the negative side, it can hurt the people you love. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and it will also hurt you. I'll give you an example. If I, if, if I just suspect my wife to be cheating on me without any facts, that's another thing. People get a lot of jealousy without even facts, especially mm. here in Uganda. You just don't have the facts. You got a phone, an ex texted me, and I didn't reply. But because she texted me, and it's not like my number is private to me, only myself, <laughs> you and my wife. But because she texted me, you get jealous. Now, mm. you start going overboard. You come to office, start blowing, blowing. You see, you are shaming me. You're shaming my family. I, I have a beyond. wife, and I sing. Mm -hmm. And in the end, let's say now you take a drive, you're annoyed, you start driving in the rain, and you go over a cliff. You're hurting yourself. You're going to hurt so many people. You see, just because of no facts. Secondly, just because of your own misconceptions, misperceptions, and... So, so <laughs> Peter, just to build on, 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 on what Albert is saying, it said that monsters grow in the dark, mm -hmm. right? You call jealousy a monster. A green-eyed monster. Yeah. A green-eyed monster. And all monsters grow in the dark. Mm. So because you don't, you don't qualify, mm. you're not stopping to qualify what, what is going mm. on, mm -hmm. you keep imagining things. Yeah. And so, yeah, so, so you, you create this huge monster that throws you off the cliff. Yes. Yes. All right? um, but I, I just want to double back a bit on, on something Gloria said earlier. Um, you know, and she was saying that, you know, if, if I know myself, uh, you know yourself, so, you know, then you don't have to be jealous and that kind of thing. I, I, I think that, well, I personally believe that the Bible is a manual for all things in mm -hmm. life. And there is this book, smack in the middle of the Bible almost, um, called Song of Songs. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lover's book in the Bible. Some people try to explain it away and say it's talking about others, but it's really about love and sex and everything. It's smack in the middle of the Bible. Yeah. And in that book, um, Solomon writes and he says, uh, the lover and the beloved, mm -hmm. this man and woman who are in love, write and say, let us catch the little foxes that spoil our vineyard. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and flip or you know get involved inappropriately or something i mean we're human mm -hmm. so what you do then is 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 tagged in mm. and and together you know say uh i see you going off there and because there's an expectation that it's possible for that to happen mm. you say i mean i that looks like i was mm. and then you help each other you back make, you make it sound so simple Chris. but it is simple it when is. you have an it complicate everything <laughs> no seriously yeah. if I, I have i have friends and and this is not me i have friends yeah. who okay, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. who, who uh, the, the, the guy the, the guy the guy loves um big backsides like <laughs> for him they they really work for him i think we have a friend okay a friend. next to uh, so So so, 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 so so what happens is that when they're driving by with his wife, she suddenly says, hey, look at that. So, so that, you know this thing of when a guy is driving and he said, uh, my eye, and he was staring? <laughs> he doesn't have to pretend about that. So because it's, it's in the open, um, it's she, actually she kept in check. Yeah, she doesn't love him. Yeah. No, do, no, 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 it's not that. It's Let me tell you something. For, for me, I would be with... Uh, it was, like me. Oh, no, 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 we'd sit Do you know what's going on? We're sitting together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting right, together. Right, 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 right. We didn't solve something. <laughs> no, uh, please, so, please. Beginning of the show, Albert said, you know when you have a, a lady who's beautifully dressed and he's single, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and, and now he says, a, a good gentleman, gentleman like, like me. No, no. I so, meant. So are you single? Uh, are, are you available? Because he's Open really space. I mean, this could be great story. Right? The <laughs> show. They met on NTV Man. You should see how I'm humbling myself. 
<laughs> Listen. Are you, are you having an experience? <laughs> are you available? <laughs> wait, wait. Or is someone jealous? Yes, I don't want to forget my point. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we shall come back to that. Off air. Okay. Listen. No. Um, I've been in that situation. It does not explain that you don't love the person. You just let the person be the person they are. And when you're, in a, when you're in a relationship, just be as open as you can. I would be with him and would say, man, that guy's so cute. I'm like, which one? And we we'll both look there and I'm like, okay, as long as it's... Man, he's an arm, man. It's not, no, no, but the thing is, you're a human being and you appreciate. I'm a lady, let's not take it on the man's side. <laughs> I could be seated with you and a good looking man passes by. What do you want me to do? He ain't seeing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nothing. No, 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 that's pretend, when pretend you're yeah, in like, yes. the jungle. Sorry. Why? That's what Peter says. Yeah. Let me tell well, you. Human beings Let me tell you. just have um, to again, be authentic. Um, I don't know. I can't speak for ladies, but I can speak for men. Mm. And I think the gentlemen here might agree with me. You see, as men, first of all, we know other men who are up to no good. Remember I talked about Team Mafisi. Mm. That's, that's <laughs> the, that is the, the hyena team. Mm. Okay. And the guys you know, the moment that guy starts coming around, you know what he's going for. Mm. So are you going to just sit back and say, oh, no, you know what, I know my... I, know, I, 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 know, I trust I know. the person I'm with. It is in, because it is in, it's in our nature, especially yeah. as men. To, to, to use a to, bomb to, to kill porch. a mosquito. It's porch. But, That's one, but, you still but kill to, it. Say, <laughs> to say that you protect the person from another person, okay, let, let, people okay, protect let, let themselves from people. Let me, oh, oh. Because let me give a different dimension. Because you could be jealous and you okay. stop me from... Oh. But let, if let, I'm let, interested, let me give you another I'm dimension still? of protect. <laughs> let me give you another dimension of protect. You're in a relationship. And you're in an office, and then you see this beautiful girl. Oh, she's so beautiful. But you have a wife or a, a girlfriend. Mm. Now, you see, if you project that, uh, what, how would I feel if my girlfriend or my wife this thought that about, and then try to, then let's say in this other side, in reality, you're, you're texting, you're, you're flirting, and, and so on. How would you feel if they did that? Now, how would, where, where would I say that's protecting? If you desist, if you cut off that communication, and you say, no, no, you know what? I, I will protect my relationship just because I, do, I wouldn't want it done to me. That's protecting. And that isn't stopping you from doing whatever you want. You might as well be doing it, but I've done my part. I've done my part. You do your part. But most times, the, the world I know, my friend, once <laughs> you're seeing, and uh, trust me. <laughs> the oh, you come from a world <laughs> of pain. I know. <laughs> He's always on the world. He's a very bitter the world, I know. Oh, but I'll tell you what. Um, mm. uh, rumor has it, and uh, again, I start to be corrected, um, that actually women, uh, do you know, there are more crimes of passion that are committed by women mm -hmm. than are committed by men. Because women are more emotionally unstable than, yes. than men are. Flip flop. <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Peter, I, I, I want to help you with that particular phrase right there. Yeah. I think let's say that women are more emotionally engaged, engaged. in relationships, mm. not unstable. Yeah, you better I mean, be careful. Of uh, no, no, no. Look, look, uh, when you get upset, <laughs> you, you, I, you have you a woman. save your marriage. I'm helping you just here, Peter. Just rephrase. <laughs> just rephrase. <laughs> just rephrase. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Right. <laughs> just rephrase. I'm helping you. But are more engaged. Right. No, no, don't worry. Could you just say women right. are more, uh, more, more emotionally just engaged? engaged. Yes. All right. That's That's right. <laughs> and in, as they're engaging those emotions, <laughs> <laughs> They, they somehow tend to be um, a bit more un irrational. Now, remember that we talked about forgiveness um, in terms of, of men, men forgiving. Mm -hmm. And remember I, I, I mentioned to you that um, in my experience, men are not really forgiving. forgiving. Thank you. Yeah. It's women who are more forgiving mm -hmm. than men. And I think it's because women are more emotional ab about things. And now where the issue of jealousy comes in, I believe the same thing hits women. Peter, have you, heard of, have you heard of men who are stabbed in the night? Yes, my point exactly. Do you, do you, know, do you know why? They've the been emotion. thinking that they were forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't wake up. Uh, this forgiving thing, 
No, but that's that's no, now comes back to what I was saying about women and and the whole jealousy thing. Um, men are, you see, a man if he feels threatened, just like all male creatures, you, you called it killing a mosquito <laughs> with a bomb. With a bomb, we we uh, we attack for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. um, uh, because we're territorial. We mark our territory. Get the hell out of my space. Women, on the other hand, will bottle it, like you said, two thousand one. We'll sit on it. Come 2017, <laughs> you're being told, do you remember that woman? And you're wondering, who? Oh, <laughs> and it champagnes out, so out of control. There are so many. <laughs> I know. So um, now we do have to get into a break. But when we get back, food for thought, and we want to hear from you, Gloria. How do women handle jealousy? I'll give you from my experience. Yeah, it will be great. Now we're here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel talking about jealousy. We need to hear from you. Go to our Facebook pages, NTV Men. Like it. Talk to the people who are there, also to the rest of us. Or you can follow us on Twitter. The hashtag is hashtag NTV Men. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. In case you have joined us, you're just in time for the last part of this show. And we're talking about jealousy. Is it natural? Is it okay? Or is it just a sign of protection? Your experience. How do you handle jealousy? And don't forget, you're speaking on behalf of all the women out there. I would never let it drive me to the extreme. Okay, how far will you let it drive you? To talking about it. Sometimes I could be, but then I don't. I choose my battles wisely. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I would. I'll be very, je very jealous. Mm -hmm. But then I'll say, "Is it worth it? Is she worth it? Mm -hmm. She's not." It will be a matter of time. And then there is a time when it really, really pushed me to the extent that we had to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Look, this, 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 and this. But to drive me to the extreme of fighting what I see people do, mm -hmm. fighting and embarrassing myself, it will never take me to that far. And that was then. Mm -hmm. Now that I've grown up, I don't think I can ever, we don't even have to talk about it. Okay, but can I, can I just um, um, ask <laughs> that's, a question? That's, that's a silent assassin right there. <laughs> yeah, because I'll tell you where I'm coming from. I don't think those people who go into storm restaurants, storm people's offices, Fight. and start doing things, actually planned to do it. I don't think they sat and strategized and said, I'm, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. What they they snapped. Oh, oh, really? You mm -hmm. can avoid it. You can avoid it. I think the be, uh, I think we can use walk away. I think that, that uh, let me let me just try to use. I'm trying to go biblical today. Mm. Uh, when, <laughs> when, when, I, when when I was Quote young, the verses, when, when I was I don't know which verses, but <laughs> okay. when I was young, I I, 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 I behaved like a I, when I was a child. I, I behaved like, I behaved a, like child. a child. Hey. Now that I'm grown, no, exactly. Yeah, you see, these these things of jealousy and all we experience him ever since we were young. Hey. For example, I'll give you an example. Uh, I have uh, a nephew, uh, the ma my sister was giving, uh, gave birth. After like two, two weeks, my nephew will come to visit and he tells my mother, uh, mommy, and my mother, grandmama, I need you to take this baby. <laughs> Jealousy I, there. I need you to take this baby <laughs> for just some time until yeah. I request, <laughs> I think that, it's but weird. you see, as you grow, <laughs> As you grow, you, <laughs> you, keep do, you keep doing so many things, mm -hmm. so many things that are different. When I was young, when I, when I would get jealous, hey, I could, <laughs> I could disorganize Kampala. If, I could, if, if they gave me the opportunity, I could. But every time you, 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 you do something, you learn. You learn a lesson from experience. And then you tame. I'll go back to what I was saying, the self-criticism. If you're able to tame yourself, Keep taming yourself. You realize that my jealousy can drive me to commit suicide or can drive me to, to commit murder. Mm -hmm. And you keep taming yourself. Keep taming yourself. When you go forward and you are 40 years and you, you're cheated on, yes. the, the extent 
to which the anger you react, the, you react will be much much more different as compared to if you do not actually realize if you're not self-aware of the diff of your person of you as uh, you being a human that you can get angry you have fear you can you can become uh, an introvert and you, you even can go mad I, I went visited butamika the other day and i was talking to someone and the, the reason why they were there is because they had been heartbroken and I actually don't believe because maybe the guy was just telling me <laughs> a random story. Mm, but possible. what I'm trying to say is, if you're not, crazy, if yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, you can never know. But if you're not able to to tame yourself, you see, we look, we look, we look, uh, we look in three mirrors. Uh, we we want to have a reflection from our parents, from our peers, from our culture. If you're not, if you keep, if your focus is in trying to impress all those people, and you don't actually try to look at the reflection, maybe from God. What does God think of you? What does why why do you think why do you want to know what others think when you keep thinking about so, 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 yeah. sorry to cut you short yeah, but sure. I wanted to find out mm. so when does it become unhealthy? It becomes unhealthy when it's affecting when yeah. it destroys you know when it Your when does the fire listen fire is not bad mm -hmm. when does fire go become bad when it destroys. Mm. And I, so I jealousy is not. I told you from the beginning, jealousy is not bad. Mm -hmm. It isn't bad to be jealous, but if it destroys others and, and it yourself. destroys yourself, that is when jealousy but becomes. To be but honest, how do you know that? All right, you know what? Now it's starting to get out of control. Uh, many people when you start to make the wrong gone. decisions, yeah. and you know inside you that it's wrong. Yeah. Like I told you, mm -hmm. five, ten years back. If you ask me what jealousy was all about, I would say it's love. Mm -hmm. Now? No. It's a, a waste of a lot of brain calories. Uh, uh, I don't all know, right. brain cells. Okay. And so so, so hold, on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. So here you are. You see there's, there's some girl who's hanging around your man, okay? It's a waste of time. Let him go. It's no, fine. no, at this age, I have yeah. the inner peace That's to say saying, so at the fine. end of the day, I do not make yeah. a decision what, what? in a relationship. Just play your part. You yeah. cannot drive the other person. I, I, what I can add but to I that. But I cannot, I cannot, just I cannot. No, I don't like you. No, 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 no just to hear from It's so funny. What I would do. Recently. What I would do instead of saying, uh, I trust you and what. No, I use the, the trick uh, of, uh, Chris gave us. Put the person aside and say, hey, I see. Have you noticed this? But there is no, no, but okay, guys. I noticed this. You see, you're, you see, you're doing something positive. You're not going behind and say, okay, let me put this in under behind my uh, I have but, it. But I, at I the end of the day, let no, me you tell see, you. you try, you see, once you, the more you keep things behind, which ladies, the more you keep it, the moment you want to get out all the knives, there'll be so many knives that you can kill them. <laughs> but, the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, As the in, thing is, you guys are talking about, I'm in a relationship with Peter. Peter is talking to a beautiful girl. Why? No, 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 no. Why should I even be uh, jealous? I, I think, I think <laughs> Gloria, mm. the, the, the thing is that um, we all know that in particular relationships, there are some non-starters. You know, you look at someone, they're talking, you're like, you know what? It's okay. It's fine. That, that's okay. not a problem. Yeah. But there is when you see a problem. <laughs> yes. And it's heading straight. And, it's like, like, yeah. like, and, and you know when, when, when it's re a real problem? Oh, is say an ex? No. no. It's, it's because you see that the person has the potential to unseat you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's for real. It's not a joke. It's I, yeah. as okay. you, you, see, you, you, see, you see the person. You see their intention and what they are doing, and, and you can really see how you're going to be history. What makes it worse <laughs> is when, when the okay, victim, when so the right. victim, the person, the person yeah. they're talking to is you also having much interest. It's showing uh, just interest, like it's a okay. conversation, the, the, yeah. and again, yeah. okay. okay. they're responding. Yeah. Respond yeah. respond I know. Yeah. You're like, oh that, you guys should have said this from the beginning. Now I get the type of jealousy. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, 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 no. I, I, I think the reaction. I walk towards both of you. Yes. I know you've yeah, you see, that's oh, now yes. overboard. No, 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 no. I'll not fight. I don't walk towards. I'll say hello. And I'll take out my man. What are you doing? Ah, you see, that's being protected. Exactly. Yeah, okay, that's then. being so protected. Welcome to the, to well, the broadcast okay. right now. Yes. <laughs> the problem, this has and, come at and, the end. Oh can we go like a thing? Oh, my God. <laughs> we should yeah, have yeah, started because, with that. Because, because when, when you really think about it, the jealousy is about if you really love, mm -hmm. you'll it, be it comes jealous. With love, yeah. Yeah. If, if your love relationship, is being then, affected. Mm -hmm. The thing though is, don't lose your marbles mm -hmm. while you're being jealous. So I, I totally agree that over time, like you've been um, contributing, mm -hmm. over time, 
you learn how to tame yourself. Mm -hmm. You learn how to control your emotions, mm -hmm. even as you're speaking about it, even if it's very painful. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for the life of me, attack as soon as you know. <laughs> Possible. Because, look, eh? Th this is about you. <laughs> you can be history. <laughs> Yesterday. Uh, I'm telling you, I'll jump in. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Uh, anyways, so, I'm, more, I'm more of a silent guy, a silent killer. So uh -uh. I would, yes, I would confront you, but not directly. You know, let me tell you. Why you know, you know let me tell you, a guy, a guy who seems too protective. It's let me tell you, it doesn't look, it doesn't, it's not a good it doesn't look cool. It doesn't look and, and, and that's yeah, not my style, yeah. but, the, but point, the point is mm. that, whatever your style is, because yeah, um, yeah, I, I think it's in, a, I, 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 there is a book called The Marriage Course, mm -hmm. interestingly, yeah, books. written by Nikki and Sarah so Lee. I'm wondering how many books you've read. I'm telling no, you. Man, <laughs> I, I, I just read one book and that's all I talked about, <laughs> the whole show. This no, is why no. I talk about three no, books. No, but, but there's this book, so, so, so they yeah. talk about um, conflict mm -hmm. and, and how different people approach it. So there's people who are, who are, um, who are rhinos, yeah. who charge yeah. at it, at yeah. an issue. And there are people who are hedgehogs. Every time there's an issue, they just coil mm -hmm. into a ball. Now, now you can be deceived when you are the rhino <laughs> to think that because someone coils you, they are not, they are not, yeah. not yeah. in yeah. attack. They yeah. are in yeah. attack yeah. because yeah. actually it's porcupines. Mm. Yeah. Because then, then what, they, 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 they roll up. into a ball yes. and then they start yeah. throwing yeah. spikes. Mm. Yeah. Right? Right? So, so the thing is that no matter what your style is, the point is that when an issue that's threatening a relationship shows up, you've got to defend it. Otherwise, uh, yeah. you Especially lose it. There's marriage. a sad story. There's friends of mine. Um, the, 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 the mom, you know, someone's mom, saw a certain lady just keep, you know. You know when, when someone, a guy has a recreation activity they like? Yeah. Yeah. And, and they keep going, but the lady's not interested. And they see this lady who is single, and they just keep on going for that recreation activity with this guy. Over time, over years, the chick airlifted her man, put him in her house, and she's in charge. Eh. Okay. But, but it's because this person watched, saw it coming, and did, did not, you know, just like, I don't, I don't play fact, those games. My friend, to add on you to have to. But to add on ask, to that, you when see should you be jealous? When you for example, boyfriend, girlfriend, or Rhino husband, child. wife? No, no. Because I feel like... Listen, when your love is being relationship threatened. is being threatened, That's I don't care what the... So what you're, the you're, you're living in rhino so, child. Uh, you see, yeah. these days, I don't know whether you're a rhino or a porcupine. <laughs> these, these days when you, <laughs> go, to, when you go to no, watch soccer, a, a when you go to watch sure. soccer, you see so many women and they're not watching. They're not celebrating. What but are they there doing? are so many women. And then you look for your, you're looking for your <laughs> guy. You're like, where's my guy? I, he's so easy. He's going to be around. And you're like seeing so many women. Like, and when they score a goal, no woman shouts. So and so there are few, there are few men who shot. Hey. So according to you, they're on the hunt. They're just they're yeah. zero, zero crazy. grazing. <laughs> yeah, they're they're just zero zero grazing. But, then, but then guys, also when, when, when you're too jealous to the extent that you have to tight mark someone, you just make hey, them lose their okay. self. I'll tell you what, Not the, tight mark, but we have to wrap up. Your thoughts, Chris. No, Peter, God is a jealous God. It's okay so to be jealous, but don't go overboard. Protect your relationship, whichever way. I think that's important. Story, your parting shot. I think, uh, again, the reaction to your jealousy should be within minimal. Minimal you should, Yes. Oh. <laughs> don't overgo. Don't, people who kill people out of jealousy, for me, it doesn't make sense. Because at the end of the day, you don't think about the consequences. All right. Great mm. stuff. Your uh, just briefly, all I'll talk about is uh, what I've been saying throughout the show. Have, tame your inner self. Tame your inner uh, monsters, your reactions. Tame everything. Always, as Chris, I, I was always take this, always be in control. Always. Always try to be in control of everything as much as possible. Great stuff. That's all we've had for you tonight. This show was brought to you by Obulamu. If you're the jealous kind of person, watch your step. Have a good night and God bless.